So today I'm going to share with you the City Square um, ROI story that was referenced in the um, email that I sent to you. So City Square is a Dallas-based um, nonprofit that um, is um, helps support um, poverty and um, homelessness within that within the area. Um, they've been a client of Giving DNAs for a while. They decided that they wanted to look at their lapsed donors, but look at their lapsed donors in a way that was more critical to engage them and invite them to come um, see, take a tour of their of their facilities. So with the Giving DNA platform, because we ingest your gift file, we can tell you which donors are, ha have lapsed or about to lapse, which donors lapsed last year, your live months, and which ones um, lapsed the year before. So as I scroll down the left-hand side of the page, you can see there are my lapsing donors, and here are my live month donors. So these are my donors that lapsed, um, that gave last year, but haven't given this year. They're 13 to 24 months since their most recent gift. I mean, you can see we're starting to add potential revenue losses on each of these opportunity segments. We don't have them on all of them right now, but it really allows you to see in revenue what the um, being able to renew these donors could mean for you versus not being able to renew. So uh, they wanted to do, again, that outreach to these individuals where they actually invited them to come to a tour of their facilities. So they looked at who the um, we were mentioning to who we were showing them were those like those live donors, but they wanted to make sure that they were also um, had high capacity and were actively philanthropic elsewhere. So they moved the, um, the the this list of lapsed donors over to the Giving DNA dashboard, where we appended our external data over top of it. So again, their internal data, their giving information said this group of donors has not given to you. Um, in the last 12 months, but did give to you in the prior year. Um, you can see we append a lot of different data, demographic information, psychographic information. Um, we can show you all of this in any type of a demo. We actually locate people on maps um, if you're not a regionally um, um, focused nonprofit. But as I mentioned, they wanted to focus on those individuals who are actively philanthropic elsewhere and were giving at high levels. So as I scroll down, I'm looking for those data points. So um, again, I'm looking for um, my actively philanthropic and giving elsewhere. So I can grab this group of individuals that are giving at high levels um, and have given within the last 12 months. So I'm segmenting that list of, of lapsing donors from that larger group of lapsing donors to a smaller group of lapsing donors, of lapsed donors, I'm sorry. And then they wanted to make sure that they were digitally responsive because they were going to do an email outreach to all of these individuals for the invite. So they, again, now have taken that list of lapsing donors, reduced it to those that are actively philanthropic at high levels elsewhere and digitally responsive. So this list became much smaller. It was, you know, a, a, a manageable list of individuals um, to invite to, to, to tour the facility. And as mentioned in the email, one of those lapsed donors um, actually committed to a $35,000 multi-year um, commitment in giving. Um, and again, had not given a gift in the last 12 months. And many of the other donors gave at smaller levels, but that one, one particular gift was, was, you know, obviously something that they were super excited about. Hopefully this, uh, this sounds interesting to you. If so, reach out to us for a demo.